feeling invisible? Are you feeling seen? Are you feeling heard? Are you feeling invaluable? I know your financial services and... How many golden women in your organizations are being hidden under clay. What is keeping you from invaluable? Is it a what? Is it a who? Is it a when? Is it a how? People lack self-confidence. Yeah, but where does self-confidence come from? We're gonna talk about that. What else? Sometimes we keep ourselves covered in that clay because you know what? We'll come out when we're perfect. Outshining others, that's a story. Next time you feel that, what do you say? Thank you, Yes, thank you, I got it. Perception of your job title, just a librarian, a non-lawyer, right? Yes. Okay. I know organizations like yours are making huge financial investments in diversity, equity, and inclusion training. Maybe you've even invested in wellness and sensitivity training programs. These initiatives are important. And I want to make sure you're getting ROI on your DEI efforts and ROI on your wellness initiatives. I want to make sure you retain the amazing talent you've spent money and resources cultivating. Diversity creates positive benefits when people believe in the intrinsic value. There is gold in having gender parity in the workplace. My little nickname growing up was Shy. No one knew my real name because I was being introduced as shy. Now, I want you to look around your room, whether it's a, a live room or a virtual room, and I want you to look at one or two women. And I want you to think about a quality that you admire in that woman that they may not recognize or admire in themselves. What are some of the things that will take you from being seen or heard all the way up to invaluable? You do not have to be perfect to make an impact. I want you to promise to walk up to that person and let them know what it is that you see. We're going to excavate your value. We're gonna learn how to communicate your value. And then we are going to learn how to radiate your value. I do not come to play. <laughs> and I don't know that my mother ever missed a day of work that she didn't have to because she loved what she did. And I love what I do. create value vaults. You can do it in a notebook. You can do it in the end of that. You can do it on a spreadsheet. But what you want to do is write down all of your successes. Write down all the things that you've been lauded for, complimented for. If there is an email that comes in that says, oh, great job, put it in your value vault. You can only make an impact when you own and share your brilliance. So what you have can still feed and nourish people, even while you are honing it. You can start to recreate and start to pull that gold out of yourself and create the vision for what that gold statue is going to be, what it's going to represent, how it's going to be seen. I know that we have intrinsic value all the time. Chip away at that clay. Chip away at that clay. Okay, get out your hammer and chisel. I want everybody to get out their hammer and chisel and chip away at it and reveal the gold. Hey.